Good afternoon, guys and gals. Brian with Thunder Laser USA and LaserGods.com. Um, I did that video uh, on my first ever 3D engraving uh, yesterday evening, and the response was pretty fantastic. So I figured I better go ahead and bite the bullet and get that workflow video done so that you guys can see how I did it. So I'm gonna put a piece of maple in here. Um, the other material that I used was cedar. Hardwoods are best for this. Uh, MDF and plywood have a lot of adhesives and there are a lot of variances there and they don't typically do as well. I haven't tried maple. Well, this is my second attempt ever, so of course. So I'm gonna put that in there. <clears throat> and autofocus and then we'll go over here in lightburn and we'll see how he did it and i am going to do this from scratch so let's open up google and search for 3d grayscale photo and it'll come up with these. Now I like to go into tools and select large. The higher the resolution, the better. This is the one that I used yesterday. And let's just try that one, the fish. And actually that's in the Lightburn software form. Awesome, somebody beat me to it. Check that out. Okay, well cool, that's great. Um, so here's the image and we'll download it and then we'll open up Lightburn and drag it in. So yesterday I had my settings at 600 uh, speed, 80% power and 10% I think minimum power and uh, had my DPI at 300. I was testing some other settings last night um, and I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna and, and it was two passes um, on the first one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go three passes and get my speed up to maybe 800. Let's not go too far. And uh, turn my max power to 100 and my minimum power to 15. The farther the distance between max power and min power, the more relief you're gonna get on these. So that's pretty important to remember. So let's go into camera control and pull up our Lightburn camera. I'm gonna tell you, the Lightburn camera makes it super, super easy. So there's my material. We're gonna update the overlay. Then I can drag this down so that it'll fit on here. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> and let's look at a preview. It's always good to preview it. And when you preview in, in Lightburn, if you don't have shade according to power, it's gonna look like this. And that's also what it's gonna look like in the Ruida control panel uh, on the display. Um, but we can get a, a pretty good idea of how that's gonna look. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's pretty good. So let's send that over. Fishes. And it'll take a little while to send it over. I don't recommend starting directly in Lightburn um, for stuff like this. This is a pretty big file and it takes the Ruida controller uh, a little bit of time to digest it. Uh, Lightburn is super, super quick. I don't know if you've compared it to RD Works, but Lightburn blows RD Works out of the water. Uh, no questions any day. So the lag you're seeing here is actually the limitation of the controller, I believe, not the processing and motion control speed of, or the motion planning speed of Lightburn. So anyway, give it a moment. And now it's sent. We'll go over to the machine and make sure everything's right. Close the lid and pull up file. We'll find fishes. And again, it's taken a little while for it to get this ready. You just have to wait on it a few minutes. Let 
There we go, we're getting close. Now, it's filled the screen with the big black box I was talking about, but the layer parameters have not shown up in the window. So it's important to wait a minute until those show up, because it's still thinking. It looks like it's not doing anything, but it's still thinking. And it won't be responsive until those show up. I'm throwing a lot of stuff at it. That's a lot of speed and that's a pretty high resolution image. And it's still thinking. Okay, now the layer came up. Now we're ready. So we'll hit start. And see what happens.
Okay, it's almost done with its third pass. And it looks like our run time is going to be about 22 minutes total. Almost there. And then we'll clean it up a little bit and let you see what it looks like. 21 minutes and 24 seconds. So, it looks pretty dirty and pretty charred right now. If you uh, get some lukewarm water and a soft bristle toothbrush and clean it up a little bit, takes a little bit of scrubbing. The more you scrub it, the better, better it looks. Okay, let's see what we've got. Pretty good, pretty good. But yeah, I think it, I think it came out well. So give it a try. Uh, if you have any feedback, questions, suggestions, any of that, let me know. And uh, that's how I did it. So give it a shot and post your results. Let me see what they look like. Until next time, Tech Bravo is out.